Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctish Channel. Since the introduction of the Harrier jump jet in the late 1960s, the UK has been focused on the potential of VTOL, or Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft. There has long been a strong desire on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean, in the Americas and Europe, to develop a fighter capable of such a feat. Around 1954, experimental designs were proposed for vertically rising fighters by the American aerospace company Lockheed Martin. Finally, the F-35 fighter was developed as a single-seat, single-engine stealth combat aircraft as a result of a multi-country joint program. The F-35B is a variant of the F-35, capable of providing long-range supersonic speeds and can take off and land in very close and confined areas, including in austere environments. This fighter's air dominance, aerodynamic performance, advanced integrated avionics, enhanced situational awareness, and increased survivability have piqued the interest of several countries involved in the project. The F-35 is a very lethal and resilient aircraft that gives pilots an advantage over the enemy. Thus, pilots are subjected to training that mimics their combat environments and how well to operate the stealth aircraft from the deck of ships. Part of the student's pilot training includes achieving nearly a year of training within the classroom and simulated environments, and providing critical skills to improve readiness across F-35 mission areas. This training is designed to provide the confidence and expertise needed to conduct any mission and return safely home. To master essential abilities and fundamental procedures, pilots begin their training in classrooms using teaching aids and interactive courseware. They then embark on the F-35 full mission simulator with a 360-degree visual display system, which employs the same software as the aircraft and correctly simulates the use of all sensors and weapons. The F-35 pilot wears an expensive super helmet that can take two days to be fitted in a special helmet fitting facility. The pilot's head dimensions are obtained during this process to ensure a perfect fit. This process is complex, but the helmet gives the pilot advanced tracking capabilities without even looking away from the cockpit. This impressive fighter requires unique building systems to support its operations and maintenance. As such, the F-35B hangar consists of an operational support facility, aircraft maintenance workstations, and a pilot fit facility to fit pilot flight equipment, among others. A multi-role aircraft, the F-35B can perform simultaneous air-to-surface, electronic warfare, intelligence gathering, and air-to-air -air operations. When operating in short takeoff and vertical landing mode, the F-35B includes a lift fan directly behind the cockpit and a downward swiveling reel nozzle. The F-35B must share as much as possible with the other, more conventional F-35 variants, while still exhibiting a safe and robust vertical landing and takeoff system within the tight physical constraints of a relatively small airframe.
The F-35B uses the main engine connected to the lift fan by a shaft and a high-speed clutch. This lift system provides up to 40,000 pounds of downward thrust and is activated by the pilot pushing a single button. This aids in regulating its center of gravity and provides it with a manageable attack angle. Additionally, the F-35B's drive shaft and clutch can deliver up to 29,000 shaft horsepower from the main engine to the lift fan. At the same time, the hydraulically activated roll post nozzles direct up to 1,950 pounds of bypass thrust from the main engine and provide roll control and stability. The fighter jet also takes advantage of the power produced by its lone engine and directs 18,000 pounds of thrust via a rear nozzle, which can rotate 95 degrees in just 2.5 seconds while rerouting the engine's flow downward. Its vertical takeoff requires that the engine produce enough thrust to lift the entire weight of the aircraft directly and the shaft-driven lift fan gives it those capabilities. The F-35B is built for operations from aircraft carriers with ramps and amphibious assault ships. For decades, the United Kingdom has used the ski jump as an alternative to the catapult used by aircraft carriers for carrier operations. This ski jump features an upward sloped ramp at the ship's bow that is curved at the leading edge. The ramp simultaneously launches the aircraft upward and forward, allowing takeoffs with more weight and less end speed than required for an unassisted horizontal launch aboard the United States amphibious assault ships. The amount of runway needed for an F-35B that is fully loaded with fuel and weapons is significantly increased. The F-35B automatically adjusts the control surface deflections and nozzles for takeoff, which is a unique capability compared to other aircraft that exhibit vertical landing and takeoff capability. With the F-35 automatically adjusting for optimum takeoff, the pilot is free to adopt more of a supervisory role, monitoring for any abnormal behavior and ready to immediately take full control if necessary. The recovery from an aircraft carrier enables the pilot to focus more on the operational task at hand and less on the administrative aspects of the flight. The F-35B is actually one of the three variants of the F-35 category. The others being the F-35A and the F-35C. The F-35A takeoffs and lands conventionally and operates from regular runways. It is used by the U.S. Air Force. and the F-35C is a carrier variant designed to be used by the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. The F-35B is the only variant 
with short takeoff and landing capability and is used solely by the U.S. Marine Corps. The biggest difference between the three variations' performances is how different their base needs are. Indeed, using many of the same parts across the three variants allows for service-specific aircraft and economic savings because of common parts and processes. The F-35B carries its gun externally. And it is heavier than the F-35A, which is the only version to carry an internal 25mm cannon. The F-35B is also lighter and has more speed than the F-35C. Though both the F-35B and F-35C have external weapon loads, the F-35C has a larger wingspan that stands at 13.1 meters compared to the 10.7 meters of the A and B, thereby creating more drag than the F-35B. The F-35C also has more robust landing gear, making the aircraft suitable for the U.S. Navy's catapult-style assisted launches and arrests aboard naval aircraft carriers. The F-35C class fighters are carried by aircraft carriers, which necessitates that the aircraft's movements on the carriers be controlled from the flight deck. The flight deck is the busiest place on the carrier, and controlling all the airplanes from this deck can be a bit challenging. However, the Navy has an ingenious way of controlling the movement of the airplane called the Ouija board. The Ouija board is a scaled-down replica of the flight deck and has the same scale length as the airplanes to demonstrate, organize, and strategize the movement of aircraft on the flight deck. The Ouija board can be thought of as a shipboard chess game with airplanes instead of pawns, and it is one of the most critical tools the U.S. Navy uses in coordinating flight operations. Impressively, the Navy does not use any complicated or advanced technology for these operations. Instead, they use low-technology methods that include nuts, washers, bolts, etc. The airplane handler using the Ouija board also oversees everyone involved in moving aircraft, including those who chalk airplane tires and chain them down, those who direct airplanes, taxiing on deck, and the elevator operators, among others. The U.S. Navy also uses the Integrated Catapult Control System, or ICCS, also known as the Bubble, to enable added safety and increased efficiency in carrier catapult launching. It is the primary mode of controlling fixed-wing aircraft launching operations. The catapult control station is located on carrier flight decks and provides intercommunication during each aircraft launch. The catapult control system is used to observe and organize the catapult system in launching the aircraft and provides additional takeoff assistance to the aircraft. The catapult has a carriage for holding the aircraft in position, and this carriage is released during the launching process. A jet blast door behind the jet is raised and lowered by hydraulic cylinders or linear actuators. This jet blast door protects other aircraft from exhaust blast damage by redirecting the hot jet blast from the aircraft.
Indeed, the F-35 is essential to preserving air superiority for many years to come as adversaries advance, making the United States continue investing in the training and preparation of its pilots. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.